Oh, let us, let us encircle the destructed. Oh, it's a beautiful menagerie of twisted metal and sadness. <laughs> Hello everybody, Grace Steel Plays, and we're back with more BeamNG Drive, no time for BS. So real quick, I wanted to do a little bit of a destruction episode this time, just to kind of show up a little bit of the various little changes in the damage in there, have you. Like I said, I feel like the damage is a little bit more appropriate now. So over here we have old Gabe's Constructions. He's going on vacation, he's got his brand new camper out here. Now the one thing you'll notice about this camper is it is very well outfitted. Um, very cool. And all of this is like its own little area. So all this comes apart whenever it breaks, whenever it crashes. You'll see right over here we got a stove. There's a gas top stove right here. Sink area. Very lovely. This is my cribs episode. I don't really have that much money though. So all we get to live in is this, uh, this little camper here. It's not such a bad camper though. Got a little couch love seat kind of combo. I guess this is like the, uh, I don't know, like the breakfast nook over here. Now, is there anything past- oh my god. Is there anything past here? Ah, the toiletry area. We've got your little porta john You've got a uh, little bath area right here with a shower as well, and then a sink. I actually did the inside of this up surprisingly well. I would be surprised if there's like- I was wondering if there was things inside the cabinets, like some- I don't know, some SpaghettiOs or something. Anyhow, old Gabe's hanging out here, no big deal. But there's one issue, and that's right over here. There is not one, but two sets of balazes sitting on the opposite side of the field here. Again, this is the extreme crash test site. A lot of really cool stuff here. Maybe we'll wander around it a little bit. But the very first thing that we need to get going is to see what happens when these two huge behemoth bastards meet in the middle with old Gabe sitting here trying to have a good day and on his vacation. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of the UI here for this. You'll notice if we go way down here, the balazes have are starting to make their way to the middle. Now these things aren't really speed demons or anything like that, but they get up enough, they get up enough speed to do quite some little bit of damage. Once they get pretty close here, we're gonna go ahead and slow things down and we're gonna start adding more vehicles in the middle to see just how much damage we can cause. Let's go ahead, folks, and start slowing things down. Let's get a look at this from Gabe's perspective. Right now, Gabe probably shitting himself as he looks into the face of death. Here we go, boys! Let's check this out. I'm gonna slow it way down here. Oh, yeah! Take- oh, look at that. Just- it's gonna- <laughs> the, These two vehicles going head-to-head -head is really something else. They probably- probably just disabled both those vehicles there. And what has become of Gabe sitting in the middle of all this? Well, first things first. His camper- Well, the wheel- the suspension- I don't know if I can call it the suspension. The, uh- the wheels are still there. That's probably, in fact, the floorboard of the, uh, <laughs> the floorboard of the camper is probably the thing that is the most in one piece. So here's what's left. We'll just kind of take a real quick look at how old Gabe's ride is doing. Uh, just a little bit of smoke coming out here. You can see where the wheel climbed up on the top of this thing and just started walking all over the engine. In fact, we can see quite a bit of the engine here. Looking at, uh, at the alternator right over there. The, I guess, I guess you could say the bed of the vehicle. Still mostly in one piece. Ladder rack kind of got knocked over. And there is the camper. Or what's left of the camper. Let's go ahead and set up a couple more vehicles to get all these things sandwiched between these two huge creatures. Alright, we're back. Now we got a couple other vehicles set up here. I decided to put a couple of fifth wheels in here. Reason why is because fifth wheels blow up real good. Well, not only do they blow up, they just crunch real good, too. So I'm real curious to see how good this looks. Going back over here by the old Balazs, you can hear the big-ass engine as it roars on through. They're coming pretty damn close to the meeting spot here, too. Frame rate's probably going to suffer a little bit. Let's go ahead and slow things down. Oh, yeah, things move pretty damn smoothly when stuff gets slowed down. Look like this one over here is going to impact a little early compared to the other one. Oh, but they are dead on. Oh, yeah. Shears the top right off of the uh, of the fifth wheels and down here it's just a puddle of vehicular death oh god it's majestic it's like playing patty cake with various various unfortunate vehicular bastards over here 
See all the little engine, or all the little gas containers over here kind of catching on fire. There's one over there on fire. This one seems to be doing pretty good. You can see the sparks going flying everywhere. There's a little bit of debris falling down. Looks really cool. I gotta tell you, man, if there's one thing... Oh, look at this. There is a good fire catching underneath this one right here. Very cool. Looks like they're still trying to go at each other, too. I don't know how much energy they have left here. Will they be able to meet yet again? This one, I think, over here on the left just lost a majority of its available power there. All right, we're back to get a little bit more smashing and crashing in. We've got old Gabe here. This time he's got the extended cab. But we've got a couple of... In fact, I'm going to get them moving a little bit faster here. We'll go ahead and put them in... Uh, we'll go ahead and put them in real time. I've got a couple of uh, cargo-style box trucks over here. One on either side. I think I've got them aimed up to the point where they should meet right about in the middle. To pretty destructive effect. I like the fact that these ones can get up to speed a lot faster. And not only that, they're just lower to the ground. Ah, we're going to have to move it over quite a bit. But let's go ahead and slow things down and see how it looks. Now, they're gonna. this one's going to come just barely kissing the edge of the... Oh, my God. All right. Well, there goes... Oh, this is, it's coming with them. Hold on. Let me go ahead and move over here. Yes. Looking good. Not too bad. But what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get the we're going to have to get this uh, this camp removed over a little bit so it's more of a direct hit and I'm probably going to have to move the truck and the trailer maybe a little bit up over here or I can move my other my other uh, big tractor trailer over there a little bit up so I think I, what I want to do is I want them meeting right in the middle here like perfectly together. All right, everything should be pretty well lined up now, I think. I don't know, maybe we should move it over just a little bit more. We'll check it out here. It looks, eh, it looks pretty damn good, quite honestly. Looks like they should meet right about in the middle. What I went ahead and did was moved, let me go ahead and slow this down. All right, now it looks like, let's see here. That's so odd, man. Now it looks like they need to be right about here for them to meet up perfectly, right about where we were. Very strange. You can see, still just kind of a bit of a kiss there. Then it slams into the camper. And then we've got the main impact right here. Now that's a damn good impact when those two, when those two uh, box trucks meet right there. The camper's flipping and flopping all over the place. Old Gabe over here is not doing too well either. But for the most part, all he did was just lose a piece of his truck. Let me go ahead and line it up one more time, see if we can get a better hit. All right, boys, let's try and get another good hit in here. Looking pretty good, man. I don't know. It looks pretty equal. Hold on. Let's go ahead and slow this down. Oh, I think this is going to be the perfect impact. Like Picasso trying to make the world's greatest work of art. This is going to be the absolute correct impact. I don't know why, but nothing ever seems to impact exactly how I want it to. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, let us... Let us encircle the destructed. Oh, it's a beautiful menagerie of twisted metal and sadness. Feels so good. There goes the ladder rack. Flying left and right. Oh, I'm a big fan. Nice piece. Look at this. Is this the interior? Yes, this is the top portion or an interior portion over here of the, uh, the cabinets of the camper. That's so cool. Whatever happened to, uh, to the... The Gabe Mobile over here. Oh my god. The Gabe Mobile is. What is it doing? I can't even tell. It has. This is interesting. It is on its nose. Just hanging out, twisted on its nose like this. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's so cool. I kind of wonder. Maybe we should put another. Another uh, attempt at it and just kind of see if there's a different level of destruction we can get. Man, I tell you, I never get tired of watching cars smash into each other at breakneck speed. All right, so here we are again. Let's go ahead and kind of look over this vehicle's shoulder just to kind of see what it sees over here. Coming into the crash area, looking pretty damn good. I think, again, I think we're pretty lined up. I'm going to slow way down here for us. Maybe not 100 times. Maybe we'll do like uh, 16 or so times. We'll go right about... Right about, not yet, not yet. Oh, looks like the white one's gonna impact a little bit earlier here. Right about here. Now what's gonna happen when this guy kisses the front of uh, of Gabe's construction? Starts pushing it back, not too bad. 
But these two big old taggers are gonna wanna meet in the middle. Man, I just love how it just turns to mush. That freaking, uh, that freaking trailer just tur just disintegrates. <laughs> It's so great. You can tell it's made out of particle board and nothingness as it folds like it's not even there when these two these two big rigs kind of come into the middle. These aren't really even big rigs, so to speak. They're just kind of box trucks, but there's enough weight behind them to where they do a lot of damage. All right, let's just put two other cars on the outside, like a little bit of padding for old Gabe here and see if uh, see if that can absorb some of the damage. All right, I thought I'd get a couple of sporty looking cars over here. Got the old Hirochi over on this side. Looking pretty cool, cool looking cars right there. Now we got the two big rigs kind of moving in or cargo trucks, whatever you want to call them. Should provide a little bit more padding when they impact uh, Gabe and his camper mobile there as he goes on vacation. How's the spacing looking? Oh, we're gonna get some definite impact over here first. This is, gonna, this is gonna push the whole grouping this way. Now, old Orange over here has gotta stop it. Yes! Oh, wow. That Hiroshi right there in the middle just kind of, uh, I think that took the brunt of it. The roll cage, though, seems to have prevented quite a little bit of damage. I think the driver may have been okay in this instance. Not really that sure. In fact, let's take a look at just one more crash between this bunch of vehicles and see if we can get these twisted up anymore. Now, as usual, over here... Oh, this is weird. Look at how the wood is over here. Hold on, let me go ahead and fast forward. The, look at how the wood is all twisted over here in the camper. It looks like a freaking puzzle box or something. The two, um... The two box trucks, though, still running. Huh, I'm pretty impressed. All right, last one. We're gonna get one last little impact in here and see how things look when everything collides. See how we're looking here, distance-wise. Uh, looks looks like we're gonna get a slight bit of an impact first over here. I'm gonna slow things way down for this so that we can enjoy every little bit of metal twisting action right there into the roll cage. Yeah, that roll cage protects big time. Let's kind of go over this way because this is gonna damn near go on its side. Oh, this is cool. The camper's gonna be riding. Yes, it's gonna be riding the box truck. Look at it just ramp up in there. Will they manage to meet in the middle? Nope, that was enough metal to keep them apart. Gabe's vehicle just gets just, I don't know, like bent in half. It's scorpions over there. Meanwhile, the camper pieces are flying overhead. This Hiroshi did pretty good. For the most part. I mean, I think it just got a little bit of an impact on the side front right there, right over here. Other than that, though, it appears to be doing fairly well. And again, this one mostly protected by the roll cage. Uh, so nothing, it doesn't really look that bad when it comes down to the damage. Holy crap, though. The way that, look at, hold on. Look at the pieces of the camper. How far they've flown from the original location of the camper. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's awesome. I love this camper so much. I love how it just turns into dust. Well, folks, hope you enjoyed this little episode of Beam NG Drive. Just got to see some crash. Until next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs> yes.